Hey everyone, it's Kayla here and today I'm sharing a layout and process video for day three of the 12 days of autumn scrap lifts, um, which is currently um, on Scrap Squad Facebook group. Um, today's scrap lift is in the top right hand corner and I've also added the link in the description below but if you're not already a member of the scrap squad Facebook group then please do check us out um, there'll be lots of inspiration from the team as well as other members of the group um, so today's scrap lift is such a fun one now I've actually been eyeing up this lift for quite some time um because of the fact that it's got hand stitching. Um, I do like hand stitching on my layouts. I don't do it as often as I'd like anymore, um, but I do really love how it looks. Um, so I started off with um, picking a cut file um, from my library of cut files. I've got a feeling that the cut file that I used could have been um, a free pa uh, paper issues cut file. Um, and what I did is I shrunk it down and um, basically copied the leaf um, in a few areas of the page. Um, I've then gone through my pattern papers from our kit and picked different pattern papers to back each of the leaves. Um, the kit that we've got this time has absolutely tons of pattern paper. We really are spoilt for choice. Um, I've added the link in the description below as well for Rebecca's shop, Aardvark Gifts and Crafts, um, where you'll be able to get your hands on one of these kits if we've got any left. Um, so what I've done, which I, I did show you a little bit, but then I went off camera to do the rest. Um, I've hand stitched um, each of the leaves in kind of a matching thread um, and I really love how this looks it's turned out really really well um, and I also used the leaf um, cut out as a template so that I could add the detail to the center of the leaves as well which is what seems to have been done on the original layout and I really liked that part of the design um, I've added a branding strip to the side of my layout on the original which is hard to see um, on the little square photograph there but on the original layout there is some pattern paper running up the left hand side of the page um, I picked this branding strip from the collection just because it's got all of the colours that are in this collection so um, I knew that then it'd match with the, the colours of the leaves that I picked um, and it also meant that I can bring in lots of the embellishments um, that are in the kit um, so yeah so this is where I'm at so far and I've already picked my photograph out which I did pick the leaf um, the leaf photograph which was to the side there um, at first um, but then I decided to switch it out because it took me so long to do all this stitching um, I wanted to use um, a photograph that kind of meant a little bit more to me so I picked one of Darcy instead and she's peeking around the side of a tree she's got an autumn leaf in her hand um, we really do love the autumn and Darcy loves collecting the leaves um, and whenever I get opportunity of course I have to take some photographs of the kids so now I'm just having a look through the embellishments through the stickers um, and going through and kind of seeing what I want to use on this layout to kind of embellish around the photo on the original layout um, there is embellishments around the photograph and then on the bottom left as well there's a small cluster of embellishments down there so I am going to kind of repeat this on my layout as well. Um, it did take me some time to kind of filter through everything. Uh, we're on day three and I'm still trying to get familiar with the kit and what we have. I mean there's so much we've got lots and lots to work with um, and I think it does take us some time just to kind of figure out what we have um, going through it, all the embellishments, all the stickers um, and figuring out what will work well with our layout. So, yeah, so I'm just kind of picking things out here. Um, I have got one of the clear sticker floral. It's like a bouquet, bouquet of flowers. Um, I just wanted the kind of the cluster of the flowers, not so much the, the bouquet. Um, so I attached it to some um, white cardstock and then I'm going to fussy cut that out shortly um, so that I can tuck that in then behind my photo and have those beautiful florals poking out. Um, 
And these have got the blue and the pink um, in those florals. So they match again with the leaves on the page. Um, I'm now looking through some more of the clear stickers. Again, attaching those to um, some white cardstock so I can fussy cut them out and use them as a die cut. Um, I've also got a tab from the sticker book um, and I can't see exactly what else I've pulled in um, but I do add a few more bits and pieces to this page yet. So I am fussy cutting that out now. Um, it isn't too tricky to, to cut out um, and I think it does make it a little bit easier to use on your page then you're not having to kind of stick it down and commit straight away. I can move it around the page like a die cut. Um, whilst I was off camera, I did pick out um, a few other little bits and pieces. Um, I fussy cut some little florals from one of the pattern papers. I've got um, a leaf, uh, which is one of the epoxy stickers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've also pulled in a frame as well from the die cut pack. And I'm going to start um, committing to those now and start attaching everything down on the page. Um, I did just kind of go off camera to do the fussy cutting because um, obviously it's quite boring to watch me just cut out some floral bits and pieces. So whilst I was off camera, I just picked out a few other bits and bobs that I thought I might want to use. Um, fussy cut those out as well. And I really liked how that looked, how I could bring in... Um, lots of different colours that are, you know, going throughout the page into these little areas around the photograph. Um, I do distress the edges of the frame. Um, it just adds a little bit of texture um, and I really like how that looks. Um, I did make a mistake here and I stuck the frame on and then realised that I needed to um, tuck in the little florals. So I had to like peel it off and then stick it back down again. Um, and I do feel a little bad that I'm covering up that gorgeous yellow leaf that I spent all that time stitching. Um, but I did add in the yellow frame just to kind of bring that yellow out a little bit more because it is poking above the top of the photo. Um, so adding that yellow frame um, just kind of extended the yellow a little bit so that you could see that it was there. Um, now I'm going to work on the cluster on the bottom left. Um, I use a label sticker which I took in, um, which is from the sticker book, and that's in blue. So I'm bringing some of the blue from the leaf and also the florals down to the bottom. Um, and I'm going to use this clear sticker heart, um, which I'm going to fussy cut out, and um, then I can use it like a die cut, like um, the florals. Um, and I've also picked out um, a smaller heart as well, so I can bring that same pink up to the top around the photo. Um, I've recently had a bit of a, a cough and a cold, <laughs> so I'm having to try and remember to, to drink my tea whilst I'm talking because my, my throat's still a little bit dry. Um, the joys of kids being at school and things uh, passing things on <laughs> they're very generous with passing um, the germs and things on um, so now I'm having another look through the sticker book just to see if there's anything else that I want to add um, I have pulled in a word sticker which says choose happy um, and what else am I bringing in here Can't quite see it kind of cuts off my screen so I can't quite see the bottom um but I think it's um another label piece I think or am I sticking down my heart I'm sticking down my heart there um there is some really really nice um like gold foil it's more like um a rose gold um foil um embellishments throughout this um this collection it's on some of the the die cuts um it's also on a few things in the the sticker book in fact you get a whole sheet of um like leaves and hearts and things um so i am going to bring some of those in um, I have attached my title, which this is from the title form stickers, and it reads beautiful. And then I've attached in some, um, just some from some thickers from my stash, which I have tons of these, um, because they're just like the perfect size thicker uh, to use. 
Um, so my title reads Beautiful Autumn. Um, and then I'm adding in some um, word stickers at the bottom. One says Happy Day. Um, and the second one says Sweet Memories. Um, which are all really fitting actually for the photo. The photo is just as we were walking home from school. Um, and these this was taken last year and um, the way that we kind of walk home the school for one is kind of covered in trees so there's loads of leaves and things around school um, but as we walk home um, there is some really really big trees um, and we kind of walk underneath them all so um, you know it was kind of a perfect photo opportunity um, to take some cute photographs with leaves and things I've got a photo of TJ as well um doing the same thing um so of course you've got to you've got to get you know photos where you can um obviously last year the rules and stuff were still very strict here um so we couldn't really go anywhere um you know we couldn't go and visit family or have days out with family um so it was kind of just taking photos where where we could <laughs> um so anyway um, enough of me rambling on here is my finished layout um please do join us on the scrap squad facebook group and join in with us um with today's scrap lift thank you for watching bye